Those ne'er dwells want to band together. Let them. They'll be no match for us. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. Dimension. We make this quick. That's him! The one who killed Locke and Fingers! Take his head off! to know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies I'll wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed that their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. 
I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why are you taking the bear as Why do they always have to make such a fuck out of You time? all along that he was... Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil, and they will thank you not to get involved. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? It's driving away our customers. What do you mean, don't jump to... I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... But, perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubor. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end, you'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubor... Rosina would often tell me... ...that steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. 
We'll be all alone. Uh, again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Come on. Need to deal with these ones first. Thanks, girl. it. Right then. Just two more to find. We're going to do this. We'll need help. Then we'll have to... Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? 
Why your fearlessness? And your skill with a blade? I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, Randalar has been particularly bad. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to... Encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed? Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find the village in Chedra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Won't find a finer array this side of the strait. Many thanks. Farewell. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
That's all of them. Come on, Toggle. Let's head back to Boklad. What's happened? The guards at the gate are in a right hole. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmechia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And... 
Judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. Ah, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Thank <laughs> you.